everyone, thanks for watching today. I have my Pan That palette update to share with you and then also my one month one palette and I had two palettes for June and that was a little bit too much. I need to go back down to one palette so I'll share with you my thoughts on the two palettes that I had for June and then show you my new palette for July. I'm gonna start off with my Pan That palette and show you some of my progress, insert pictures so you can see all the progress from the intro. This is the palette that I've been working on. It's a Guerlain six pan palette and I did swap out one of the colors for an Urban Decay shadow that I had depotted, and I think this is Sin, this little one right here. So I have six shadows I've been really working on. I have not hit pan on Sin yet, but that one was a little late to the game, so I'm, I'm not too disappointed that I haven't hit pan on that one yet, but I did hit pan since last update on this little green, mint, bluish green shade. And it's a really pretty shade. I've been layering it with other shadows and just getting a lot of good use out of it. Putting it on my lower lash line too. It's perfect for summer. So I did hit pan on that and that was a goal of mine. So yay, I'm happy with that. My goal for next time is going to be to widen the pan on all these shadows and then also to hit pan on Sin. And that's what I'll be working on. Here's a close up of my Pan That palette. As you can see, I hit pan on this one and I'm working on widening the pan on all the shadows. I have two palettes to show you for June for my one month one palette. The first is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, and I love this. <laughs> I really, really like it a lot. I'm happy with all the shades. I've used all the shades, definitely staying in my collection. And then I also had my Z Palette. This one was super tricky for me because I felt like I could only use one or two of the shadows. A lot of them are shimmery colors, and I'm actually gonna be getting rid of a couple of shades. These four right here, two Urban Decay shadows, uh, and then Makeup Geek Mermaid, and then a Lancome shadow. It just has hard pan, and I feel like it gets a lot of hard pan very easily. And I have other colors that I like in my collection, so I'm going to be getting rid of that one. It's very pretty, but I feel like I have so many other shadows that I could be working on and using and enjoying a little bit more. But I'm going to be getting rid of these four, and I have a few others. I need a little bit more time with them to see if I like them. Most of the other shadows I am going to keep, most likely. I'm going to try out the dark blue and then this lemon drop one a couple more times to see if I want to keep them. But that's my thought on my Z palette shadows. And this is a mix of like deep potted shadows that I have, some Too Faced, Kevin Aquan, Too Faced, Urban Decay, Makeup Geek and MAC, um, some from the Heat Wave palette, I deep potted two of them. And then Too Faced, Stila, Wet n Wild, that's my last Wet n Wild shadow. Actually, I have a single in Brulee, which is that uh, creamy color. This is my second to last <laughs> Wet n Wild shadow, Makeup Geek. So there's a good grouping and a good array of uh, different formulas, different colors in that palette, and I did enjoy it, but I've also gotten to know that I don't love everything in there and it doesn't need to be in there. For July, I'm gonna be working on my Tarte Aqua Lilies palette, and these are the shadows here. There are six shadows, a blush, a highlight, and a bronzer. I'm not gonna be using the uh, blush, highlight, and bronzer exclusively, but I will use them a little bit more than I have been in the past. But these six shadows, the three right here, I do enjoy, and I have used those quite a bit. This brown is a little bit powdery, but I can make it work. The blue is not the best formula. It's actually a little bit, I don't know, I don't think it's very pigmented, but I'll stick it on my lower lash line and get some use out of it, have a little pop of color. And then this dark brown is not my favorite formula, but I can make it work. I like this palette and I actually chose it for July because we will be doing a little traveling and I feel like this palette is really good for traveling. Uh, the closure here is really sturdy and then you also get the blush, highlight, and bronzer. It's just super easy and that's what I'll be working on for July. And with one month, one palette, I'm not trying to hit pan, I'm just trying to get good use out of the shadows that I have in my collection. For my Pan That palette, that's the one that I'm gonna be trying to hit pan on, and I've hit pan on all the shadows except for one, and then I'm just gonna work on widening the pan until the end of the year. I don't think that I'll be really focusing on using up every last little bit of the shadow, because I wanna be using my other palettes, so that's why I've been incorporating my one month, one palette in with Pan That palette. 
How have you guys been doing? How are your Pan That palettes or your One Month One palette? What are you working on using uh, for the month of July? I'd love to hear down in the comments. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Bye.